One piece of career advice that uh, you wish you were given at the start when you started out in cyber? I think um, I think we say yes to everything. And by that, I mean, you certainly earlier in your career, just getting the breadth of experience. Um, and, and I think that might contrast with some advice that others uh, may give, which is kind of you become a specialist or get deep into the get deep into a particular area. I think, you know, early doors of your career, if you can see as experience as many different things as possible every opportunity whether it's to work in different industry segments whether it's do something different within your own organization just build that patchwork of experience it will just give you so much more depth to call on further further on into your career can you share a pivotal uh, moment in your career that made a significant impact yeah absolutely it was um it was sort of lunchtime on september 11th uh, 2001 we were I was part of um, a GE's then sort of emerging information security team I was working for uh, a phenomenal lady called Marissa Buffardi and um, and GE we were getting this was back in time sort of when viruses computer viruses were sort of new and you know we all sort of knew about them but they, you know it wasn't a real thing and um, I think the first one to really get headlines was a virus called Code Red um, people remember that one and uh, that didn't really impact us too much at GE but uh, a little while later, there was another one that was called Code Blue. And um, for whatever reason, we just weren't prepared for that. They just exploited vulnerabilities in our environment. And, and, and you know, we were, I mean, I'll talk about it fairly openly now because it's over 20 years ago, but you know, we were we were literally ripping servers out of walls in some parts of our business. Um, uh, and as we were kind of on the incident response call, um, sort of early early on that morning, uh, midday, our time, the, um, the, the, world, um, the Twin Towers got hit, first tower got hit. Uh, and I just remember kind of the the feeling on the call that you know, but hold on, this is this is bigger than us, and you know, we thought a uh, you know, a, a very serious uh, malware attack on a, a huge American conglomerate. You know that this was the beginning of a of a major conflict, and I remember kind of feeling a, a chill at the back of my neck and thinking, you know, cracky, this you know, this could be is this the beginning of, of World War Three? And and we I guess we kind of without even talking about it, we just kind of flipped into. Um, so you know battle mode which is right okay well we've got to deal with this issue now there's stuff happening out there in the bigger world you know it turns out we had colleagues on the aircraft and in the t- and in the towers um yeah it was it was a it was incredible I mean, an incredible experience I, i'm not sure if that's the right even the right word to use but it sticks to me now uh, and i remember the feelings that afternoon and and it really kind of reinforced my desire to sort of stay in stay in the risk world stay in stay in the space where you know, i want to i want to protect our people protect our assets and you know and, and, and protect our businesses um and and that's you know that's probably probably the moment for me because it was so early in my career having kind of spent most of my life wanting to be you know be in the military and 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 fly fly jets in the air force um yeah you know, i didn't really know what i wanted to be in 2000 2001 um and i think that just really reinforced the the direction of you know direction of travel for my for my career ever since So how do you approach challenges and uh, setbacks in your professional life and what's your kind of go-to strategy for them? Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. Um, I don't think there's a simple answer to it. I think I think it's probably, it will vary depending on kind of where you are in in your career, right? So um, you know, I'm, I'm probably you know, nearer the end and the beginning uh, of my career now. Um, so, you know, there's an element of I you, know, you you kind of take criticism or setbacks on the chin and, and you try and learn from them and, and move forward. Um, I think earlier on in your career where you probably got maybe more luxury of choice, um, or you might not have so much sort of dependent depend any dependence or you know things riding on on, on it. You can probably if, afford to be a little bit more choosy and um, and actually go you know, if you don't like the you, know, you don't like the setback or the message you can move on. Um, and I think you know, for me, I mean, I've had all sorts of feedback over the years, and yeah, you know, and I've always, I've, I've tried to change my style, I've tried to do this, tried to do that. Uh, but I think you know, what I've learned is, is you can't change who you are. 
you know, be true to yourself. You've got, you know, you'll have your own set of principles and values. Um, you know, you're, you're an individual. I think there's been a lot more, um, there's a lot more acceptance of that in the corporate world today, that individuals are individuals. And I've, I've worked in organizations where everyone kind of needed to fit a certain mold and perceptions real or perceived were, you know, or perceptions became reality as they say. So, um, you know, I, I sort of, I learned from those, um, but fundamentally I kind of just, just kind of re- accepted that I am who I am. You know, some people like me, some people don't. Um, I, I like to think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm tough but fair when it comes to working with people and my teams and my clients. Um, uh, but, but you kind of gotta, you know, just got grin and bear it and, and try and do things with a smile. I mean, my, my simple, my simple sort of principles are, you know, I want to, I want to be valued and valuable. I want to make a difference and I want to have fun while I'm doing it. Um, and, and if, you know, if I can do all those things in my role and I'm very lucky that I, you know, I am in a position to do that with, with, with node four and a security practice here, then, then, then carry on. But, um, but don't, don't ever let yourself be derailed. Um, but equally be open-minded to, to change direction. If there's, um, if there's a better, more, you know, better opportunity that suits who you are more.